As the Bible reminds us in Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. I always wanted you, even when I didn't know what I wanted. Even before I knew you, it was you. You were the chapter that I didn't know the words to, but always knew it existed. And when I finally found it and began to read, I knew I was home. Great marriages don't happen by luck or accident. They are a result of consistent investment of time, thoughtfulness, forgiveness, affection, mutual respect, and above all else, a rock-solid commitment between husband and wife. Nick, do you take Conley as your cherished wife and co-pilot on this lifelong adventure? <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> Conley, do you take Nick as your cherished husband and co-pilot on this lifelong adventure? I do. 
The wedding, the wedding rings perfectly symbolize the never-ending love you two have for each other. By exchanging these rings, you solidify a lifelong commitment to one another. The rings serve as a welcome and constant reminder of the bond you formed with your partner. Please repeat after me. I, Nick, give you Conley. I, Nick, give you Conley. This ring is a symbol of my enduring love. This ring is my symbol of enduring love. Just as the circle of the ring completes itself, Just so you complete me. Break that into two. Slower? Just as the circle of the ring completes itself. Just as the circle of the ring completes itself. So you complete me. So you complete me. Conley, please repeat after me. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I, Conley. I, Conley. Give you, Nick, this ring. Give, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so nervous. It's okay, you're fine. What are, what? I kindly give you, Nick, I this ring. I kindly give you this ring. <laughs> as a symbol of my enduring love. As a symbol of my enduring love. Just as the circle of the ring itself, com the ring completes itself. Just as the circle of the ring completes itself. So you complete me. So you complete me. <laughs> Nick and Conley, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church and by the state of Washington, I am elated to pronounce you guys husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the privilege to introduce for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Sherman. to uh, clean up that ketchup off of her smeared plates. You're the ranch dressing to her pizza that I still find disgusting. You're the one fish in the sea for her, and I'm so grateful, you know, when I call her phone, and the two of you are literally video gaming from different rooms inside the same house. Same, same house, different rooms with their headsets on. I love it, it makes me so happy. <laughs> You have the kind of love that I can only hope to find when I'm 45. <laughs> Nick, you are loving, <laughs> patient, thoughtful, confident, and almost as stubborn as my dad. <clears throat> so I'm sure you guys will be just fine. <laughs> Let us toast to the newlyweds and what love truly looks like. Thanks, guys. All right, so I met Nick the first day of high school in our first period science class. And I remember being extremely nervous and when I sat down, I looked to my left. What did I see? I saw a kid who was half asleep on his desk, long swoopy hair, and a backwards hat with a button-up shirt. <laughs> I thought to myself, wow, this guy is extremely cool. <laughs> he brought a project truck for the wedding. I thought to myself, maybe just drive Conley's Lexus. <laughs> but throughout the year, Nick worked hard <clears throat> to get the truck running and driving, and it's really cool to see him have completed his first project truck. <laughs> yeah, all right. Even though Nick's favorite vehicle modification is just cutting the exhaust off, <laughs> perfectly running vehicles. And Conley, you're not out of this. So, first time, <clears throat> excuse me, first time I remember meeting you, you were drinking Bud Light like they weren't gonna make any more. <laughs> and I thought, man, I don't know who this lady is, but she is cool. <laughs> Here we are. 
Anyways, all right, to a long and happy marriage, Nick and Conley. <laughs> hey, all right. Moments like this make me so appreciative and and so I feel so fortunate that uh, people like this exist in this world we live in today, for heaven's sakes. And look at all you guys. This is this is what it's about. Not any of this stuff out there. It's about these two young people in love. Gets me right here. But thank you, Connie, for having me here. Where I get choked up. Bless you all. The greatest thing about being a man is having children. The greatest thing about having children is having daughters. Sorry, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> know that you will have all the love and support from us the family and I'll be happy to come down anytime and bounce little Wyatt and Kira on my knee it's her dog and cat so raise your glasses to the luckiest couple to have found each other and may your life be full of love and blessed happiness and please wear a mask before kissing. <laughs> Cheers! Could, could be a roast, but I think truly his infectious smile has actually had an influence on everybody he's around. It's pretty obvious. Connolly, <laughs> we, we have not known you for long, but we do know that you have more love and patience than anybody that could possibly be with our son. <laughs> we also pray that you have a lifetime of happiness in your marriage. Let's hear it for Never been so easy to believe 